this is another another um, uh, in a continuing saga of uh, misinformation. Here's Forbes, which used to be a great source of information on financial information. Uh, let me see. Oh, there it is. The risks involved in owning a house as an investment. Well, that sounds ominous. This is of owning a house as an investment, not, not owning real estate, right? The real estate goes up, it goes down, there's cash flow, there's risks. Let's talk about specifically a house, and in this case, we're talking about really your home. And so the article is written, um, uh, it's, it's an answer by an assistant professor of finance at my alma mater, USC. And I think his, his answer is accurate, which is he analyzes the, the variance of the marketplace on any individual home. And, and the more unique your home is, the more up or down it goes relative to all the other houses. Well, that makes sense. If you're the smallest house in a big house neighborhood, you tend to have the best results, but sometimes the worst in different markets. Right? In a really go-go market, if you, know, if you have the only three-bedroom in a four-bedroom neighborhood, in a down market, your house will, will sell because people want to live in a nice neighborhood on the cheap. On a high market, they want the nicer house, and they're going to uh, pay more for the bigger home. And so he explains this in very detailed economic statistical terms. I think he does a good job. I think he's accurate describing the, the population of data, the range, the um, bell curve, if you will, of data and outcomes. And the more unique your house is, the more likely you are. But the longer you hold it, the more markets over time your house will normalize in value. Very interesting. But really, that doesn't really – that's not why Forbes put the article there. The risk of all of your owning a home is because they went to the home and go, oh, my God, what's the risk? It might burn down. I might get stolen. I better click on the article and read it. And I assure you, 99% of people who read this article have no idea what the guy's talking about. They don't really care. You clicked on it. And then before you even get to the article – there's going to be some ads, um, and this one's blanked out on me uh, already. Uh, here you go, Splunk. I don't know what Splunk is. Build digital resistance. So when you click on the page, uh, two-thirds of it's going to be an advertisement before you even get there. And then you just scroll down. There's an ad for a Dell computer. I bought a Dell computer. And go to there's another ad. So they're going to – they just want you to, to, to see the ads. And, and the fact that the, the uh, title of the article is really meaningless to most of the readers is irrelevant. 